Hi everyone, my name is Otto Diaz. I'm a VDR in the partner channel of Gorilla Expense, and I'm here to talk about what we do with expense management and timesheet management as well. So a brief history about us, as our name suggests, expense reporting is what we do. We are very experienced in that space. We know what works for our customers and what doesn't. We have been in the space since 2012, so that's more than a decade now. Our mission is to become the de facto expense management solution that provides panoramic visibility across all the stakeholders within the organization. Now, we have two product lines as of now. The first one being expense management, which we have in English and French language versions. And we also have timesheet management for projects. As for industry recognition, we are a preferred partner with Microsoft AppSource. Gorilla Expense was also selected and sponsored by Microsoft to showcase innovation within our solution at the demo conference in 2014. Since then, we have been growing and are growing still, having a presence across the globe. More than 95% of our, our customers are still with us. We have also been identified as leaders by GetUp, Capterra, and Software Advice. We recognize ourselves as industry agnostic since every industry niche has exporting, expense reporting and expense account users as well. Um, now let's talk about how we differ. We typically are more economical to own because ours is not a legacy platform. That means that maintaining, configuring and customizing it is quite easier. Also, our platform uses the latest technology and it's modular which means it costs us less to manage and to scale the application for your needs. So savings on our end translates to more competitive pricings for you. We don't charge any overconsumption fees. Our model is a true pay as you consume model, and there is no third party to deal with when it comes to integration. We build, own and support our own integrations. From our current customers, we know that one size does not fit all when it comes to TNE. Therefore, we specialize in configuring our solution to your needs, which is one of our core strengths. We also provide training across all the users. That includes travelers, managers, and admins. And our training is not generic. It is provided on your system using your data. Now, from our existing customers, you can see that uh, they vary from industries, which include travel and tourism, hotels, nonprofit, manufacturing, entertainment, governmental organizations, amongst others. So we have customers from almost every sector. Now let's move over to our solution overview, which is what we also call a spider diagram of our solution. Our solution can help expense account users, finance and management, and accounting teams as well. Towards the left hand side, you can see that this section is all for expense users. Our application can pull in corporate credit card data as we work with Amex, MasterCard, and Visa. We also have an email forwarding feature. So if a user has an email in their inbox that holds that receipt, they can just forward that into the application and the application will create that transaction for the user. Additionally, we have an OCR capability that is optical character recognition. It's a receipt scanning feature. So if you have a receipt in front of you, you'll just take a picture of it, the application will scan it, and it will complete the transaction for the user. We will go over that in a moment. We support multiple web browsers as well, so users can submit their expenses through the web as well as mobile devices. We support Android and iOS devices. We have an e-alerts or notification module, so once the user submits an expense report, it goes to the manager, and at the same time, the manager will receive an email mentioning that the employee has submitted an expense. So they will just go ahead and approve or reject that expense. And the similar kind of information will be sent back to the employee about the approval or rejection of the expense report. You also have an approvals workflow. So that is, if you want to set up multiple levels of approvals in the system, you can do so. So you can have manager one and manager two by the time it reaches the accounting team. There's also a policy model that can be set as an amount based policies for different expense types that can also be configured in the system. We have a rerouting feature as well 
from which you can reroute a report to another manager. For example, if a sales manager believes that they are not supposed to approve a specific report, they can just redirect it to somebody else. We also call this a delegation feature. There's also a reporting and analytics module where you can review all the expense reports and the expense data, and you can download PDFs with the expense reports data and all of the receipts that are available there. Now, once everything is approved by the manager, then using the Gorilla expense integration, we can post all the data into the accounting system. We support multiple integrations with multiple ERPs. In this case, we have a Dynamics GP, Business Central, SL, and NAV as well. Now, um, let's move over to the mobile application where we will look into out-of-pocket expenses and upload a corporate card expense to get into a report. So allow me one moment while I share screen from my phone, please. Okay. So now you, what you are seeing right now is the home screen of our um, application on a mobile device. So you can see that there are several sections. The first one, the highlighted one would be for expense reports under which you can create an expense report. The second one will be expenses where you create all single line item expenses. Following that, we have a receipt box, which is a better way to store and manage your receipts within Gorilla Expense. So this feature will allow you to keep all your receipts in one place and sync them across all the devices. So it's like having a Dropbox application within the Gorilla Expense uh, solution, where you can store all your receipts before attaching them to an expense line. The idea for this is to be able to easily locate all the receipts instead of going through your photo gallery or camera roll where it easily becomes cluttered and you can easily confuse your receipts with personal photos that are going inside of there, right? So also inside of the receipt box, we provide a receipt scan capability that utilizes optical character recognition, OCR, that I mentioned before. So basically you can take a picture of a receipt, the application will scan it, extract data from it, and complete the transaction for the user. I'll show you how this works later, but I wanted to highlight the functionality because our customers enjoy this feature. Moving on, we have Timesheets, which is the other product of ours that I mentioned earlier. This is project reader time capture only. So for users who do not have Timesheets, this option will be disabled and they will not be able to view it. We have the approval section for managers. If they want to approve or reject expense reports on the go, they can do so by clicking in this section. Finally, we have settings under which users can set their per personal preferences. Okay, so now let's go and create a report. So if I click in expenses, then you can see that there are two, two small icons in the bottom. So we have mobile. So this is the section where I will report do all my out-of-pocket expenses, any payment or any expense that has been done using cash or a personal card, which is not a corporate card, has to be created here. Then in the second section, bank, on the bottom right corner, this is where you can see all of the corporate card expenses. All the credit card data will show up here. I have some Amex data with me, uh, but this is how the corporate credit card transactions look like. Now, let's go back to the home page to create the expense using the OCR capability that I mentioned earlier on. So to do that, I have to go into the receipt box section here. So once inside the receipt box, I will uh, click on the top right corner in options. I will have the option to add a receipt. It will ask me from where. So I wanted to add it from my camera. I will have I, I have a receipt in front of me. So I will take a picture of this receipt in front of me. Perfect. So now uh, once I click here and use photo, the receipt will start getting scanned. It might take a few seconds to scan, sometimes a minute. It depends on the speed of the internet and the quality of the receipt. But basically the way that it works is that once I take the picture of that, the application will start scanning it and extracting the data. And um, at that moment, uh, it will complete the transaction for the user. Please keep in mind that it might not be entirely complete and I might have to pick the expense type or make any fixes if needed. But for the most part, it will show as a complete task. Now, a few minutes before this demo, 
I took a picture and scanned the same receipt, which is here. Now let's view it. If I click on it, as you can see, it says scan successful. It has already populated the date, the amount, and the vendor. So I will use this by clicking at the top right corner, options, and I will attach it to a new expense. As you can see, I have several options there um, and that are cost categories enabled at the user profile, like department and customer. So since I am from the sales department, I will choose sales. And as a customer, I will just choose a default um, for this exercise of the demo. Now, um, we can make this as a default with a user profile so they don't have to choose every time they create a transaction. This also goes for customer. Now, since this is a demo environment, you can see that we have most of the fields enabled, which may or may not be relevant to you, but we can always enable the fields that are relevant to you and disable the ones that are not. You can see also project and project tasks that could be labeled as job or job task. All these fields are configurable. We can relabel these fields that you are seeing here the way that you want to be configured. We have also fields like GST, country, and city as well. And as you can see, those can be set as default as well. So users don't have to choose them every time they create a transaction. At the bottom, you will see that we have comment and other comment section. So if you need to have any notes or description, this is the place to do so, right? So at the moment, you can see that everything else is populated and uh, it seems well. OK, so I will just save it. Ah, I have to add the type, right? The type of the expense in this moment. I will say it's a meal type of expense and save it. And now there is uh, the expense has been synced. I will like to view it and you can see that it's already in the expense section. You can see the type, the date, the vendor, the city and the amount. Now I will create a different type of expense. This time I will not use OCR. I want to showcase a different uh, feature that we have. So again, I will choose the department as sales. I will choose a random customer. And the type of expense for this exercise, I will choose mileage. And now as you can see, it has changed. And now we can see number of miles. This field I can enter manually if I click there, or I can calculate miles. By calculating miles, this uses Google Maps on the back end. Um, and it will automatically do the math for me, right? So I will choose a simple distance for the exercise of this. And I will say that we're departing from Duluth, Georgia. Done all the way to Atlanta, Georgia. And done. Now, as you can see, it has already shown us the map um, from the uh, departure to uh, the end destination. If we click on the plus button here, we can add a multi, uh, another destination as this supports multi-destination, but I will keep it simple. And as you can see here, it has already populated the number of miles. So I will click on done. Save. And it already populated the number of miles, the rate per mile, uh, which is the IRS rate already populated and the converted amount. And in the comments section, you can see that it has picked the start and end date uh, and end uh, destination uh, for, you know, for having the comment there already. And if we see as a receipt uh, a picture, we have a snapshot of that map. So I'll click on done, save. And now we have created two different type of expenses in the out of pocket section. Now, if I wanted to uh, create an expense report, and uh, or another expense from the bank section. What I would do is I would choose this uh, from the bank section. I will choose sales because again, that's my department. As I mentioned before, this can be automatically um, set as a default. So users don't have to do what I'm doing right now. I will pick the expense type as fees. And uh, as you can see it in the comment section, it has already, it's, t it's telling me that it's Zipcar Inc. So I know that's a parking fee. So that's why I, I placed it as a fee. And as you see, it already has chosen the payment method as Amex, right? 
we have country as state and the city has already auto populated since all of this information is coming in from the credit card statement it will auto populate all this information um, without me having to do what you just see uh, me do because right now since we are in a demo environment well this is what i've been doing but the application can be mapped to specific columns from the statement to respect the fields within the Gorilla Expense application. And it can take the information supplied there to fill in uh, different sections within our uh, expense reporting, right? So the only thing missing here will be the receipt. I can add one if I wanted to, but I'm not going to uh, for this exercise. Um, also, it's important to note that for, uh, since it's coming from the credit card statement, it's taking fields like date, amount, vendor, country, state, city, and the payment method, as I just mentioned before. And apart from this, an application, our application will attach receipts automatically as well, as long as you're storing them in the receipt box. So as soon as the transactions start flowing in into the bank section from your corporate card statement, our application will start looking for those receipts in the receipt box and it will automatically get attached to the respective transactions. And we also go one step ahead and create an expense report for the user that corresponds to the start and end date of their corporate credit card statement. So all the transactions that fall into that date range, those transactions will be pulled into that report. And as I said, we are able to match the receipt as well. So the report will almost be complete, right? Again, I will not uh, attach a receipt, I will just save it. Ah, oh, vendor. I'm missing the vendor. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Now uh, we have created three different type of uh, expenses. Now we'll create an expense report. Into the expense report section, I will click on create report. I will give this a name. Expenses auto because that's my name. I will save it. Now I will put a uh, the type will be corporate and the start and end date. I will pick a broad and start and end date because one of my receipts is from all the way back to January and up until today, right? Now options and save. With this, we have created an ex a skeleton report ready to be populated with expenses. I will click back here. And at the bottom, you can see add expense. I will click there. I will add existing expenses. From the mobile section, I will choose the mileage and the meals expenses. And from the bank section, I will choose the fees expenses. Now I will add these. And as you can see, it has given us a summary of this. Um, the subtotal, what is not reimbursable and what is re uh, and the rest that would be reimbursable because it gets paid in the corporate card. Now at the bottom left corner, you can see validate to submit. And so if there's uh, several levels of uh, validation and approval that needed to be done, then it will let me know at that moment. But since I don't, I will click here and you can see that all expenses are valid. And now I can see that it has presented me with the submit button. I will submit this. And it will provide me with a confirmation number. My manager will receive an email with this message and I as well will receive an email with this message and then the manager will be able to go ahead and approve or reject that expense report on their end. Now this is how our solution looks like on a mobile device for users. Um, I hope this was uh, useful and informative for all of you. Now I want to go over to the end of our presentation. And I want to let you know that we have special offers for all Aspire 23 attendees uh, for whoever wishes to purchase our management solution by August 31st of 2023. We are waiving our implementation and training fees up to $4,000 value. And the way to do it is to contact your Velocio account rep and include in the subject line of that message, Gorilla Expense Aspire 23 special offer. Now, I know that I didn't showcase the integration section, but if you go to our booth, I have several links there that will show exactly how we integrate from our expense reporting solution to 
any ERP, in this case, uh, Dynamics PC, GP, NAV, and SL. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.